this is Jo Lynn from One Heart TV. And when we don't take care of our homeless, we deprive ourselves of being kind human beings. When we don't take care of people who don't look like us, we deprive ourselves of being kind human beings. When we don't take care of our animals, and that's including all animals, the ones we even ingest, we deprive ourselves of being kind human beings. And when we don't take care of our precious environment, we deprive ourselves of being kind human beings. But when we don't take care of our most important asset, our children, we deprive ourselves of being the kind of human beings we wish to see in this world. So where did we go wrong? Where did we separate ourselves? I began doing anti-bully assemblies in elementary schools after realizing that I had been emotionally wiring the phrase, I'm not good enough, all my entire life. And I didn't want any child to create that illusion in their own head because it always holds you back. The problem is people were coming up to me all the time and saying, well, Jolene, that's nice of what you're doing with the children, but what about the adults? You know, they're teaching their kids to be unkind, you know, hateful, bullies. Well, sadly at the time, I said the wiring of some adults is too far gone to reach unless they want to change. They too are suffering from the not good enough syndrome and unfortunately are passing it forward. But today, I believe that adults do want to change. They just don't know how to get started or what to do. And Maya Angelou always, I quote this, I love this saying, when you know better, you do better. And I've had it, but if you don't know better, how can you do better? Well, I want to help you by finding informative videos and articles that can give you essential tools to begin. I'll be interviewing people locally and getting their take as well. As an adult who slowly began to wake up from the illusion of believing that I was not good enough because I had wired it for so many years. I know it takes work, but it can be done. It's just knowing where to begin. And so I've attached an article below called the five ways to change emotional habits. It's a place to start. I'll be breaking each of those down in individual blogs and talking with people in regards to their take on those individual five ways. This is an exciting time and the best time is to start now. So stay with me. Peace, as always, love you. Let's make America kind.